Hi, I'm Steve Shimola, chef owner of Crop Bistro here in Cleveland, Ohio, and uh, I'm cooking at home today, which is kind of a rare treat for me. And getting ready for Valentine's Day, you know, we think about all these indulgent desserts, but at the end of the day, let's think about also our heart healthiness. Valentine's Day, the heart, heart healthy. Here's a great dessert that not only is really good for you, but it's vibrant, it's fresh, it's clean, and it's featuring pomegranate juice. So, um, you know, at the restaurant, we use our water in our cooking, and I've really discovered that it's my key ingredient. It's so clean, I'm not interfering with any other flavors, off flavors, or aromas like chlorine. So what we did is actually, at the house, installed the new Kinetico uh, K5 RO system, and on demand, I get crystal clear, pure RO water. So for the, today's recipe, this is about as easy as a dessert can get. I'm starting with two cups of RO water, right into small sauce pot. And what we're gonna do is blend this 50%, 50%. So I have two cups of the RO water with two cups of pomegranate juice. And this is something you can find in the supermarket, pretty much almost any store nowadays. So look how gorgeous this color is. And we get it right into the sauce pot. And essentially what we're doing here is just going to get these flavors to blend. I'm also going to melt a little sugar into it. So I've got half a cup of sugar. And Real easy, just give that a little stir. Blend the sugar in. Essentially, all we wanna do is make sure the sugar is dissolved. It's no granulation. So while that's coming up to temperature, I've got pomegranate seeds. Now you can do this the old fashioned way and get your pomegranates and knock the seeds out. But uh, super convenient, you can actually buy these already seeded in the store as well. We're gonna add these a little bit later. So here's kind of a secret ingredient. I love getting these subtle herbal flavors into a lot of our desserts. And this granita, it's really kind of an all-purpose type of dessert, if you will. But it can also be used in between your, your meal as they would call intermezzo, kind of a palate cleanser. So I love experimenting with flavor, and, and I love getting things that are unexpected in your, in your foods where... Things like tarragon, you wouldn't think this would be a dessert item, but the flavor and the smell is really very much like licorice, kind of very anisey. So all we're going to do is, we don't need a lot of this, probably about a tablespoon by the time I'm done mincing it, but real simple, mince this up, and you'll see what we do in a second. This comes together real easily. A little of this tarragon, ready to go. So now, what we do is I've got my pomegranate and reverse osmosis water, a little bit of sugar, and really just bring it till it first starts to bubble and boil, you're pretty much ready to go. And that's where we are. So, in a nice clean uh, uh, pan, baking pan, whatever you have, that suits you. Could also be a stainless steel one. I like this because also it looks so pretty. So what we've got now is the pomegranate and RO. Then take your pomegranate seeds and just lightly sprinkle these around. About a half of a cup there. We're going to save some for later for the garnish. Then it's a little bit of this tarragon. And then you'd think I'm a little bit crazy, but a little bit of salt helps amplify the flavor. Just a pinch of salt. And just kind of stir this around to disperse it. And now what we do is we put this to bed in the freezer. We're going to come back to this later on. We'll show you how we're going to make it and turn it into granita when we shave it. But keep that in your freezer till it's fully frozen. 
Minimum eight hours. Um, it's a little bit softer. It might be a little easier to work, but it's going to have to freeze up at least eight hours. Pomegranate granita. We'll see in a bit when we finish it up and plate it up. Okay, so we're back on this granita. It's Valentine's Day, and I've got the perfect little fresh dessert. So we made the granita earlier and uh, put it in the freezer. And this is kind of an art form. Depending on how long you freeze it will depend how long and hard it gets. So this has been in here, oh, probably about eight hours now. And what I'll do is just take a whisk or a spoon, kind of smash it up a little bit. If it's too hard, you can kind of scrape it with your uh, with an ice cream scoop. But it's almost like slush, and that's kind of the the texture that you want to serve this up at. So just get that. I like using kind of a little fancy glass here, a little goblet, and oh, three or four scoops is going to do it, and then some of these fresh pomegranate seeds as a garnish and then just a couple little pieces of that fresh tarragon leaf that we used earlier when we chopped it up and put it in there and there we have it pomegranate tarragon granita made with our Connecticut reverse osmosis water happy valentine's everybody and enjoy cheers